Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordy and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. Uh, we're we're going to get started today by pulling some spirit animal cards, then we'll move into a 10 card tarot spread using the Smithwaite deck. All right, so let's see what's going on for Pisces. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. We have the beaver spirit coming through, which says lay a solid foundation. We also have the porcupine spirit, which says time for a beginner's mind. Okay, we'll see how these oracle cards play into the tarot card reading. Let's get into it. Ooh, we've got the Ten of Swords reversed, the first card. We've got the Queen of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups reversed. We have the Ace of Cups reversed in the recent past. And we have the Ten of Cups reverse in the distant past. In the future, we have the Five of Wands. Sometimes conflict is unavoidable, Pisces. Sometimes drama is unavoidable as well. We have to lay down, like we have to speak our own truth. And uh, the focus might be on you right now. Someone could be angry or upset with you. We have the Eight of Wands reversed. <clears throat> we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Tower card. So there's definitely some explosive energy here. Someone's ready to lose it, you know? Could be you, Pisces. Uh, you know, it's like... There's this Queen of Swords energy here with the Ten of Swords reversed behind the Queen. So it's like, what is behind this Queen's mind? Like, what is she thinking about? She's thinking about all those times that she was let down, that she was betrayed, that she was um, neglected or, uh, you know, verbal abuse or even physical abuse. You know, it's like whatever, whatever type of painful... Uh, dynamic that you've gone through Pisces or that you're or that this person has gone through I'm, I'm gonna say it's you this time um, it's like you're laying it all out on the line for someone you're not holding back you're communicating your truth about all the negative things that have happened in a love relationship um, where the love is totally lost you know um, we have all these cup cards reversed um, there's, this is an energy here of, if you had the opportunity to speak your truth to someone with, without holding back, what would you say? And, uh, this is very cleansing in itself. Even if you don't get this opportunity, maybe write things down or, you know, make a phone memo or just talk about this with a friend and get it out of your system, Pisces, because, I do feel like there's future conflict happening here. Um, maybe um, some type of old conflict is resurfacing. Um, if we look at the uh, Oracle cards in relation to the tarot cards here today, it says to lay a solid foundation, but then we have the tower card. Um, so it almost feels like someone has tried to uh, five of Wands manipulate a specific outcome um, where they knew it wouldn't work for everybody involved but it works best for them. So it's almost as if someone's putting their efforts to lay a solid foundation for themselves. And then I'm going to have you as this porcupine energy here who is um, next to the beaver, 
and uh, as soon as they come close to walking over your territory or looking for sticks to build their dam and the sticks are around your, your neck of the woods, they have to get past you and your quills. So um, when it says time for beginner's mind here, I would say that um, this person could use a fresh perspective, whether they're going to listen to it or not, or agree to it or respond to it. Um, they deserve to hear your perspective. Um, with this uh, Tower Card Wheel of Fortune reverse here, it's almost as if a situation is going to continue to play out in a conflicting way unless you speak up, Pisces. Um, with the Eight of Wands being here as well, uh, with the Five of Wands and the Star card, it almost feels like the Star card being the center of attention and the Five of Wands being conflict and, and like a battle raging around. And then the Eight of Wands are sometimes perceived as like arrows shooting through the sky. And uh, it just gets this energy of like being under uh, emotional attack is what I'm getting. Um, someone's being uh, careless with their with your feelings. And uh, this is going to manifest in different ways. Like it's almost as if someone's trying to stir the pot right now. Um, in an ongoing issue. And uh, you need to speak up about it, Pisces. I'll keep saying that. That's that's the main message. If we've got the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords reversed, and the Five of Wands, this is when more of that uh, neglect, betrayal, pain, suffering... Um, all of that stuff is being exasperated. It's coming up to the surface. It's being, uh, people are mistreating each other. People are um, disrespecting pain and wounding, um, just bulldozing through a conversation. And you don't have to be like, your intention is to hurt somebody with the truth. You can calm and, and you can very calmly in this Queen of Swords energy, it's upright. It's not like the Queen of Swords is reversed. You can speak your truth in a way that is going to be effective. And um, I just want to say that no matter how you speak it, it's got to come out either way. And it's not going to have the calm response that you would hope it would have. We've got someone here who's kind of like floundering. Um at a loss with what to say, except for just to start yelling or something like that, with all this like, like fast happening, tumultuous energy of the Eight of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Tower card here. Um, so we've got the Queen of Swords and the Star card here. This is like the only good card combo that's in your reading today, Pisces. Uh, this is like powerful Aquarius energy, which is talking about equality for everybody. Um, uh, Aquarius energy also talks about the free flow of the mind and communication. Forward movement and progress. And uh, breaking social norms, you know, breaking the status quo. This brings a lot of attention to you, Pisces. Might be negative attention. But it's cleansing for you. It's actually helping you in some way. Um, and you might not have much of a choice in this matter. There's always choice, I know that. But sometimes we get kind of pressured into these situations. And... Uh, there's no way around it, especially when the fight is coming to you. Um, we've got the five, the Knight of Cups reversed and the Eight of Wands. This is like the Eight of Wands when it's upright can talk about the rods of love, you know, messages of love, 
lots of passion and communications. The Knight of Cups upright can talk about romance and love and progress in that area and wanting to date and wanting to woo, woo you, you know. But with them both being reverse, this is an energy of um, emotional disgruntlement, um, pent up emotions and feelings. Uh, it's not chivalrous, it's not um, well-aimed. It's almost as if someone's aiming their anger about a situation at you, and you're here to clarify for them that, like, this has nothing to do with you. That your part in this situation is clearly just to define boundaries, Um, so you're deflecting a lot of, uh, insult is what I'm hearing with these wands coming at you and you've got your sword that you can just slice those wands out of the air. Um, so this gets a little bit messy is what I'm hearing. We have the Ace of Cups reversed. I guess I'm pro providing a dramatic reading today. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's almost as if the beaver's taking a stick and trying to hit you with a stick and the porcupine's raising up its quills and it's kind of just like back off you being the porcupine and uh, they're going to they're gonna try to go at you anyway they're going to get stung by your quills and then they're going to have to deal with the pain of that the cutting truth we have the uh, Ace of Cups reversed, and we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is a cycle that is doomed to repeat itself, something that's meant to come back around, to be healed or to be released, to be emptied from the cup, and to be thrown out, uh, is what I'm hearing. Sometimes we need to throw out some negative emotions, you know, get them out of our system. And this could be what this person's doing to you, like they have no other outlet. They just want to spill their, you know, spill their cup upside down all over you, full of negativity. And for you, you're kind of like taking that water and you're redirecting it into the earth for grounding energy and into the pond for introspection and clarity. So, uh, you know... It's overall, it's ineffective, whatever this person's trying to do, because they're catching you on in your in your inner truth state. Uh, we And the ace being uh, like potential, the wheel of fortune being potential as well. Um, it can be a direct message of like, like there's no, like the love is not being expressed in this dynamic, like not unconditional love, uh, the opposite of conditional love. Unconditional love is like conditional love. Um, or even uh, hate, malice. I've never interpreted the Ace of Cups reverse in such a negative light, but it honestly feels like someone is just like trying to dump poison on your head or something. And... Uh, you're just not here for it. So we have the Ten of Cups reversed and we have the Tower cards. So this could be family. This could be long-term relationship. This could be friendship. Um, the Ten of Cups also talks about how uh, when it's reversed, that there's been stagnancy in this for a long time, that this has been building up. And when I say blow up, we've got the tower card here. That is the blowing up energy. There's literally an explosion in that card. Um, there's fire, there's lightning. So, uh, other than speaking your truth, do any other advice for Pisces? Don't let this get you in the dumps, down in the dumps with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, shake it off with the Knight of Wands reversed. Um, 
it's kind of saying that there might not be an understanding between the two of you. This might create a rift. What else do we have for advice? There's fear, there's doubt, there's insecurity, there's even feelings of guilt coming up. But um, I'm not sure if this is uh, coming from you or coming from your person. It's probably coming from your person. And there's a moving forward, there's a walking away from this, there's moving on. not one of those readings where I'm going to say there's a solution to this. I don't think there is at this time. All right. Well, uh, what you have to say is going to lay a solid foundation for yourself to move forward from this, to d define what your position is, to redefine um, how people perceive you in this situation as well. And people are going to start changing their minds about you if there's other people involved, especially in the way that you respond to this. If you do it in a graceful way, Pisces, which I know you can, um, or if you have the right things to say, like your truth is your truth, uh, this could change people's perspectives and they might have a, a new perspective, a beginner's mind here. All right, that's all I've got for your reading. <laughs> it's, a, it's definitely the, the hot tea, fresh out of the pot. Um, for those of you who are interested, you can join my channel as a member for $4.99 a month, where you'll get special one-on-one -on -one attention from me in a live stream at least once or twice a month. Uh, that's only for members. So during that live stream, we get to have a chat. I can answer uh, personal questions that you have. And um, it'll just be a fun way to hang out with uh, we hang out with me and also with other members. We can talk about tarot. We can talk about all kinds of stuff. Um, and also, um, once I start getting, uh, you know, more members on board, I'm going to start releasing videos uh, ahead of time just for members only and then everybody else can watch them um, you know the next day or something like that uh, we also have uh, personal readings that are now available you can look at the description box of the, my newest videos and you'll see a link to a booking app for our weekend time slots where we can book a Zoom call reading and we'll be face to face over Zoom and we can do a full professional reading and see what's going on specifically for you. You know, the YouTube readings are great, but they're meant for everybody and sometimes a lot of the, the important details are lost in the mix. So if something's really, if you're really feeling called for a specific message, uh, this would be a great opportunity to take advantage of until uh, I close the personal readings again. All right, uh, take care and I'll see you again soon.